these tablets contained one of the oldest known stories in human history. The Epic of Gilgamesh, a Mesopotamian epic poem. While these particular tablets were dated to the his friend Enkidu dies. In the 11th tablet, he seeks out a man named Utnapishtim, the survivor of a worldwide catastrophe who became immortal himself. Utnapishtim tells Gilgamesh how he survived this catastrophe. See if this sounds familiar. Utnapishtim spoke to Gilgamesh, saying, I will reveal to you, Gilgamesh, a thing that is hidden, a secret of the gods I will tell you. Shurapak, a city that you surely know situated on the banks of the Euphrates, that city was very old, and there were gods inside it. The hearts of the great gods moved them to inflict the flood. Naya, the clever god, was under oath with them, but he repeated their talk to me. Oh, man of Shurapak, tear down the house and build a boat. Abandon wealth and seek living beings. Spurn possessions and keep alive living beings. Make all living beings go up into the boat, the boat which you are to build. Its dimensions must measure equal to each other. Its length must correspond to its width. Roof it over like the Absu. The boat was finished by sunset. The launching was very difficult. I had all my kith and kin go up into the boat. All the beasts and animals of the field and the craftsmen I had go up. The weather was frightful to behold. I went into the boat and sealed the entry. There arose from the horizon a black cloud and turned to blackness all that had been light. The land shattered like a pot. All day long the south wind blew blowing fast, submerging the mountain in water, overwhelming the people like an attack. No one could see his fellow. They could not recognize each other in the torrent. The gods were frightened by the flood. Six days and seven nights came the wind and flood, the storm flattening the land. When the seventh day arrived, the sea calmed. Quiet had set in. I sent forth the dove and released it. The dove went off, but came back to me. I sent forth a swallow and released it. The swallow went off, but came back to me. I sent forth a raven and released it. The raven went off, but does not circle back to me. Then I sent out everything in all directions and sacrificed a sheep. I offered incense in front of the mountain ziggurat. The gods smelled the sweet savor and collected like flies over the sacrifice. All neutral and open-minded people watching this right now immediately think the same thing. This is the same story. Noah's Ark is ripping off Gilgamesh. Amazing, isn't it? Now there are obvious differences. There were different amounts of gods, the boats were different, Utnapishtim sent out an extra bird to find dry land, and where God was immediately sorry following the flood, 